Hey guys, this is your girl Alicia Pink, and thank you for clicking on my podcast. So today, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, not having any support and feeling alone. You don't have any support from any of your friends or your family, or maybe you don't have any friends, or maybe you don't have any family, and you have been pursuing a dream for a really long time and maybe you given up on that dream but for a little while and you kind of sort of lost your way and you tried other things but that dream stayed on your mind for a really long time but because you failed the first time you decided to not tell anybody that you want to pursue it again Because you might feel like no one is going to support you. Or maybe you have told people that you are going to try to pursue that dream again. And that dream could be acting, maybe music, maybe um, being a YouTuber or a podcaster. Or, you know, maybe nursing, maybe being a teacher or going back to school to get your degree, your bachelor's degree or whatever, you know. And you failed the first time around and you decided to do something different. And you know that's not where you want to be in life. You know that that is not your true passion but it's convenient and it's safe and you are making good money and it's paying your bills but you know that isn't your goal that's not your passion and you absolutely hate your job so you want to try to pursue what you failed before because you know that's where you belong that's where you feel the happiest you know but people probably saying oh well you felt the first time around so why are you trying it again you might as well just stay where you're at don't listen to those people because those people suck (laughs) you know personally me I when I graduated from high school I wanted to become a massage therapist so I went to school for it and um I graduated After I graduated, I got a job working at a chiropractor's office, and it was an on-call job. So I was working two jobs. Um, The first job I was working, I was cleaning airplanes, and, you know, then I was also working at a chiropractor's office as a massage therapist. But it was an on-call job, so, and they barely called me. So I stopped going. I stopped. I quit, and, you know, I just was doing cleaning up the planes and um I was applying to other positions you know to try to get a massage therapist another massage therapist job but no one I went on interview at the interview no one hired me so I gave up and um I thought maybe if I work for myself but I really didn't want to do that. I wasn't in my entrepreneurship, you know, at the time. I, I I felt like it was just too much work. So I decided not to do that and I gave up on it. And um, I went back to school and I became a nursing assistant. And, you know, that's what I'm currently doing right now. Um, I also went to school for other things, you know, but um, nursing assistant is something that I, I was doing for a while so um i you know it's been years and my massage therapist license expired and things like that so well i never had a license i just graduated you back then you didn't really need a license to practice massage now you do but anyways um right now i'm actually going back to school for massage therapy because It's something that I always wanted to do, you know, and it always stayed on my mind. And eventually I want to open up my own spa and my own massage 
therapy company, you know, something that I always wanted to do. I also want to do other things, but we're that's, we're not going to get into that. So right now I'm back in massage therapy school because I know that's where I want to be. I've always, over the years, thought about going back to massage and becoming a massage therapist. So, yeah, um, I do have support from my boyfriend, but family doesn't know that I'm going back to school for it. You know, because I feel like, you know, it's I just want to keep it personal, you know, but, you know, if you don't have any support from your family or your friends or whoever, it's OK. You could be your own support system. I'm my own support system, you know. I encourage myself every day. I listen to motivational, a motivational video on YouTube every morning. I write in my journal. I listen to positive affirmations. I say positive affirmations every day in the morning and every night before I go to bed. You know, I also read a lot of self-help books. You can most definitely be your own therapist and your own self-help guru and your own motivational speaker. You know, you don't really need others to promote you. You can promote yourself. You can be your own, you know, person that is uplifting you and have your back. You know, your own motivator. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. You don't personally need friends or family to um, be behind you. I know it is, it will be nice, don't get me wrong, but you don't need that. You know, if it's your dream and if this is your goal, you know, no one can stop what's meant for you. Nobody can stop what's meant for you. So, guys... I hope you take this advice and um, run with it, basically. (laughs) I hope you guys realize that being your own support system is everything. And, you know, there are going to be ups and there are going to be downs. You know, there are going to be days when you feel like, what am I doing this for? I'm not getting any results. You know, I'm not even getting paid for this. But a wise woman named Oprah Winfrey, by the way, said, (laughs) you know, you will find what you love to do when you're not getting paid for it. I'm not getting paid for this. I love getting it, giving advice to people and helping people. I love making YouTube videos and motivating people and helping people. And I'm not getting paid for it. So I already know I found what I want to do. And, you know, also massage therapy. I want, even if I don't get paid for it, I know that I will still love it. Because I love making, I want to make people feel good. You know, whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, I love making people feel good. I want people to love themselves. You know, self-love is the best love you will ever experience. So, you know, I believe that getting massages and going to spas is a part of self-love and self-care. You know, you have to love yourself if you want to go and get a massage. You know, you want to get a facial or get your nails done, your hair done. You got to love yourself, you know, um, for that. You know, you're taking care of your body. You know, you're taking care of your body physically as well as spiritually and mentally. I think that's the whole package. And that is a part of self-love and self-care. So I want to do it all around. I want to help people physically, <laughs> mentally and spiritually, guys. So, um, yeah, you know, I just wanted to do this short little podcast. 
um, to remind people that, hey, if you don't have someone that is supporting you or you don't have any friends or you don't have any family that is behind you 100 percent because they think that your dream is ridiculous, <laughs> they think that maybe they don't get me wrong. Most likely they're doing it out of love. But, you know, sometimes people can sabotage your dream. You know, you can't, don't agree to to what people put on you. You know, it's your family or your, um, your family or your, maybe your significant other, who knows, whoever it is might say, hey, why don't you just not pursue that right now? It's not a good time, you know. You know, you <laughs> we don't have the money right now. Or maybe you just had a baby. Or maybe you just graduated from high school or college. Or, you know, maybe someone is in your family sick right now. It is never going to be a good time to start something new. It's never going to be a good time to start anything. You know, if you don't pursue and just at least start, you're never going to start it. That's just my opinion. You're never going to start it if you don't just start. You know, a lot of people need to realize that it's never going to be a good time for anything. If you want to start that new business, start it now. Money or not, start it. You know, you can start by doing things for free, you know, to do things for free for your clients until you get the clients that you you deserve, you know, because even, you know, even though it's free, you're giving good content and good things out, you know, and that person might keep coming back and then they got good service, they got what they needed, and they will eventually pay for it when you do decide to start offering payments and things like that. And You know, so I just feel like, hey, if you want to start something, if you want to do something, do it now. Don't wait. Do it now. Even if you're not ready, do it you know, do it. Right now I'm reading a book called Everything is Figureoutable and I love it. It is amazing. You know, so yes, guys, start now. <laughs> Don't wait. You know, who cares if someone thinks you're going to fail again? Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong is the best revenge and ever is to prove your naysayers wrong. Don't give up either. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep trying. If you fail, okay, get back up and try again. <laughs> you know, everybody fails at something. Our failures is basically... It's a lesson that we have to learn and then we try it again, basically. That's how I view it. You know, you fell at something. You might fell at something more than once. You might fell the first time and then you're like, okay, I'm going to do it again. And you might fell again. Okay, do it again. You might fell again. Okay, do it again. You might fail several times, 10 times, 15 times. I don't know how many times. But if you keep trying, eventually you're going to win. You know, hard work does pay off. I don't care what anyone says. Hard work eventually pays off. And, you know, you if once you believe you can, you will. Period. You know, it doesn't matter who doesn't believe in you. It doesn't matter if your family members or your friends or whoever doesn't believe in you. It doesn't matter what they think. They they don't live your life. This is your life. You only get one. So make it the best life ever. You know, if 
you had one week to live, what would you do? What would you do? Would you continue to work at the job that you're working at? Would you stay in that relationship you're in right now? Would you um, go do something that you always wanted to do? What would you do? Think about that. What would you do? If you... Think of your obituary, you know, when you, when you're dying, when you're about to die or when you're going to die and someone has to write your obituary. What do you want that to say? Do you want it to say like, oh, well, Jan worked as such and such a job that you're currently working at now and she did such and such. And um, all the things that you are doing right now that you probably hate (laughs) would you want that to be in your obituary or would you want it to be the dreams that you have set for yourself but you put them on hold because you felt like it wasn't the right time who gives a freak (laughs) who cares if it's not the right time the time is now you know it probably will never be the right time just like people say you wait to have a baby you're gonna wait forever it's never a right time to be a mother or a dad you know they, they say that all the time and i truly believe that it's never it's never going to be the right time you're never going to really be prepared until you actually have a kid so you have to view your dream as your baby as your kid it's never going to be the right time period you know just do it okay like i said you might fail a lot of people fail The first time they do a business, a lot of people fail or a lot of people fail the first time they tried something new out of their comfort zone. A lot of people fail. But the thing is, the reason why a lot of people fail and continue to fail is because they give up and they stop. They stop and they fail once and they stop that one time because they didn't like that feeling of failing. And they feel like, okay, I tried it. It didn't work. I'm not doing it again. No, you continue to do it. And we're like, okay, but it's so embarrassing because my friends and my family supported me when I did it the first time and I ended up failing and, you know, I lost a lot of money or a lot of clients or whatever, you know, I didn't. I failed and now I'm gonna try it again no one's going to support me this time around so who cares what other people think that's what's wrong with people now people care too much what others think who cares at the end of the day they're not living your life period you know because when you succeed guess what those people are going to want to be your best freaking friend you know when you start making that money, honey, they're going to want to be your best freaking friend. When they say, oh, I don't think you should do that. You know how many people that are successful right now have friends and family say, I don't think you should do that. It's not a good idea. But they did it anyways. And look how successful they turned out. And you really, truly believe the same people that said that they think they should do that want to be their best friend right now. And but like, I'm happy you didn't listen to me because now you're a freaking billionaire. OK, yeah, <laughs> guys, please don't let your friends or your family or anybody else hold you back to pursuing your dreams because your dreams is your dreams, period. And it's no one else's, you know, that's all, you know. And dreams do come true if you believe, if you truly believe that you are going to be successful, you will be successful. The universe will bring it to you one way or another, it will open up doors, it will bring people into your life. You just have to believe, guys. So I'm going to end this podcast right here. <laughs> I hope this guys I hope this helped you to feel like yeah I could do whatever I put my mind to we had to find the inner child in us when we were like in kindergarten first grade when our teacher said 
you can do anything you put your mind to, sweetie. (laughs) You know, you can do anything you want, you know. And even if you don't know what you want, just think of things you would do for free. And that's probably something that can make you money eventually. And even if it doesn't, as long as it makes you happy, you still find your passion. You know, once you find what you love, it won't even be work anymore. It will not be work. You will not be dreading the weekend. You will not be dreading getting off work, watching the clock like, oh, my God, when is this going to be over? I'm ready to go home. (laughs) I know that feeling all too well, guys. Okay. So, yeah, this is your girl, Lisa Pink. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Have an amazing day. Bye.